first episode of the day and on this particular one i wanted to show you guys a video now i want to just say the video is not in english uh, but i'll come back and interpret what's been said in the video but i'm going to play you the video at first it's uh, of pastor mali at radio Hoshelezani. and so if you go to radio Hoshelezani, you will find him uh, speaking on there and he did speak about something that i found very interesting and i wanted to play you that video i'm glad that the guys actually are now doing a uh, part uh, part of their broadcast in video format it does also help out uh, also on youtube because youtube is a very visual platform and so forth and so i'm gonna play you that part of the video and i'll be back here with my commentary and also to explain what he is saying over here <laughs> The implicator leading members are correct. Len, when you are here, we are dealing with the fact that the Mbappe ID number is high. The Mbappe is high. Can I fit this ahead to my lawyer? The advice was in the hurry. Rebate a private investigator. Gaba kala hurry. Itonga na hurry trace. Uh, Facebook yen, page yen, or a jamang, Loritwagai. Fortunately, Bahona we trace. By Tola he hori, a fake account. Ibile invite le upper room, le rivers. Libito la manana yo, asim to yewa in what's in mo. And then, Izari Tola he, Kahopola hori bishop. Konje CRL hana bata unkala kire kenya hai ulanga bana na ba kire ge horeba bule di case katanole na tasa mbagata zileo la nyeo habaga taka ofer mba andismis kamu hawa mudim unzeglebo hapa le la palanda te popedi le ma popedi. Hobani CRL Balatla Babam Baba Nyanaban Batro is a statement Hor Bishop Zond Onaban Kile Hor Babule Dinya or Hasanolin Le Lawyer Raya Hai Jeff Ratahan Cases are Zonda Dino Fela Honaji Lagar di Fedil Ersantan Rea Hobanaba Mwana ba nkilo rbabuwe di Casey Khasano lenna. Isa ile in the record, ko CRL, hore, Jeff Ratahane, li Bishop Zondo. Ola rbambulele di Casey Khasano lenna, and the lawyer raya ba saimis. Emba ba ile CRL. Now what Pastor Mali is saying here is very, very crucial. Because uh, he is saying that there were people that were brought up to frame him. And these people that were brought up to be to frame him, they did actually uh, go to the CRA and they made reports that what was said about him was actually only lies. That's not me. That's what Pastor Mali said himself. And for this reason, he's saying there's still a lot of issues with Zondo. So it's not just the cases that he's now attending at court, but there's also this where people were framing people, where people were lying about people and creating cases and falsifying information in order to trap people. Because this was after Pastor Mali had, uh, had actually shown that he was actually on his way out. But in the earlier part there, you might have noted he then started explaining how he was kind of like being helpful uh, for, for trying to help Zono to obtain land which is the land that he's actually building that 200 million church uh, that we spoke about on the last video with Mapo Pedi, if you haven't seen that video. And so he's saying that he was in that process and it was when he started questioning that period, things that were happening in that period, that he started being distanced. Okay, and from that distancing, it then came to this point where when they went to um, to thingy, there were girls that were brought from the church and they were made to go and open cases and say all kinds of funny things about him. And after that, 
<laughs> after that, after these girls had come out, the same girls came out and gave testimonies at CRL to say, no, we were actually made to lie. Those things were not true. And so it's such a fascinating thing to see that um, the man then would go so far to actually do something like that. It, 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 it's just beyond me that does that person, do you think that person has a perception of justice? Do you think? In your in the book of, because remember, this we are taking this subject from the previous video we made where Bishop Zondo was saying that uh, seven people should give themselves a sacrifice so that his cases will be what? Made to disappear or whatever. Now, in that tool, where he sounds like he doesn't have a true perception of justice. Now you have this one here. You have this one where he is supposedly, you no, know, allegedly from Pastor Mali. Now, of course, I was there at the at the hearings and people came to the hearings and we had them actually claiming and saying this thing. So Pastor Mali saying, yeah, that was actually framed all the way from the rivers of murky waters and then those girls came up and actually testified that they were made to lie on those subjects does this person sound like a person who has the right perception of the justice system does this sound like a person who has respect for the justice system for them to be bringing people to lie about other children <laughs> lying about other children that other children have done what 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 and then these same people come out to testify opposite. And sometimes this is why uh, you should always be willing to listen. Always be willing to listen. Because most of the time people just want to dismiss. No, it's a lie. It's a lie. They are taking bishop. But you haven't listened to it. You don't know what it is exactly. Those same people then go over there. They are, they are signing statements that they were actually lying. They are there, I don't know if they signed anything, but it is said that they were there and it's on record that they spoke about how untrue the things that they were claiming to the police were, were actually false. Does that sound like someone who is in respect of the law? Now, that is the first point to take from that, from that entire video that you saw right there. But there is another thing that also comes out from that. There's another thing that comes out from that, and it is this right here. The church members, they were rejoicing, they were celebrating, they were out there thing. Now, not, not even noticing one point, they were not even noticing that the very same thing that he was supposedly being accused of, their pastor was actually accused of. But in their pastor's uh, case, he was innocent, but Pastor Mali was guilty. Even before, before thinking. So, there is a double standard of approach there. Okay, so not only does the leader have a screwed up view about the justice system, but the followers as well also have a screwed up view of the justice system because they couldn't make the same judgment to their pastor. Hmm? But only to find that the, the same ladies, the same ladies that were supposedly open cases against uh, Pastor Mali, they then went and said no. We were actually lying. But have you noticed something? The people that have dropped cases against Son, have they come out and said it was a lie? Have they come out and said it was a lie? No, most of them, they just drop the cases and leave. Now we don't need to stretch it any further. There was one thing that I just wanted to note here. For the followers, double standard of making a judgment about the same subject. What does this tell you? You as a follower, you the one who's a defender, you defend everything. Hmm? Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> You're just a defender of everything. Never mind uh, the realities and the truth aspects of all these things. No, when you are just on the defense. This should actually wake people up and remind people there's a lot more sometimes that goes into the subject than what you are seeing on the surface. And I just wanted to bring that here, that thought up here because I thought it was important. They couldn't make a right judgment when those people went back to CRL and said, no, we were lying. But bear in mind that the cases that were put up forward about their pastor are still in runs. 